Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I have some exciting news to share with you guys. I am going to be making a trip to New York City to go to their brand new Harry Potter store. Before we go to the Harry Potter store, I need to pack my bags. So I wanna pack them with you guys and share some of my magical items and some of my not so magical items that I'm gonna be bringing along with me to New York City. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> All right, yes, you guys heard me right. I am going to New York to film the new shop tour. I am so excited. I will be with my mom there, so you will see her probably in the next video. And I have my suitcase over here because I need to fill it up with you guys and get it packed up so we can get ready to go to New York. So it won't be a particularly long trip. I will be flying in on Wednesday, June 2nd. I will be filming the shop tour on the 3rd, which is Thursday, and then I'm flying back home on Friday, the 4th. So it's not gonna be very long, so I don't have a lot of things I need to pack, but as always, I overpack every time I go anywhere. I'm gonna need something comfortable when I go on the flight, and then I'll probably wanna change into something for later that evening and then I'll need my outfit for the day that I'm going to be filming at the Harry Potter store. And then I'm gonna need an outfit for the next day and then the flight home. So I shouldn't need too much. So let me show you the few things that I have picked out so far. So I went ahead and laid out all of my outfits that I have the idea of packing for New York. And as you can see, I have way too many for just three days, but I can't help myself. I know I need to make sure that I leave room in this suitcase because I'm sure I'm going to be buying a bunch of merchandise at the store. If you hear any background noise, it's thunder because it seems like it's about to rain here in Florida, so you might be hearing that, so just disregard if you hear anything. <laughs> but let me start off with this first outfit. So this is just a basic black tank top and some sweatpants. So this is what the front of them look like. And then they have these cute little like cargo pockets. And it has two on this side and just the one on that side. And then I'm just going to be pairing that with this simple black tank top. So this is what I wanna wear from my flight from Florida to New York. And then I'll probably wear this coat just because I want to save some room in my suitcase. I don't wanna put that coat in there. And sometimes the flight in airports can be really cold. So I will be bringing this really cute teddy-like zip-up hoodie. And if you were curious, all of these items are from Forever 21. And these all are in the size medium. And since I'm going to be wearing these on the flight, I am not going to put these in my suitcase. I will leave these on top. So I'm just putting these to the side here and then we can go over the rest of the outfits. All right, so I showed you my flight outfit. So next, the outfit that I'm going to show you would be the outfit that I would change into once we land in New York and we get settled into the hotel. I'm gonna to wanna to change into an outfit to like go out to dinner in. And like I'm pretty sure I mentioned before, I will be with my mom, so it'll be me and her. And I really, really want to wear this dress. And I also got this at Forever 21. I had a recent shopping spree there. I bought a bunch of stuff online. So I got this really cute dress. So it's kind of sleeveless, but not sleeveless. So it has this top here, and then you put your arms in these sleeves. So it'll still be open on the top. So the sleeves would just start right here, and it's still, it's gonna kinda have that like sleeveless effect with these really fun, cute sleeves. And then it has this little spot where it kind of cinches in at the waist. And then it's really fun on the bottom. It has these really cute ruffles. So I think that this is so beautiful and I really hope that I get the chance to wear it to dinner with my mom. But the reason why I'm not sure if I'll be able to wear it or not is because of the weather. It seems to be changing. So earlier on this month when I was checking the weather, obviously it still was a few weeks out and the weather was looking really good, kind of mid to high 70s. And then this week, the week of the trip, things change. They've got a lot of rain recently and it looks like it has a 50% chance of rain the couple days that I'm there and it's gonna be in the low 70s, high 60s. And I don't think a dress like this is something that I will be comfortable wearing when it's raining and pretty chilly out. 
So as a backup, I'm going to be bringing another outfit. I'm still bringing that one just in case I have the opportunity to wear it, even though it looks like highly likely I won't, but we will see when I get there. So for my backup, more practical outfit, we've got this Gryffindor sweatshirt. So it's just a simple sweatshirt and it's in that maroon color, Gryffindor colors, and it has this really cute stitched in design. And this one is from Box Lunch. And I bought this one a little while back, so I'm not sure if they still have it. If I can find any of these items, I will definitely link them down in my description box below. So if you are interested, you can find them as well. But I have this sweater, and then I'll just be pairing that sweater with a pair of jeans that have a little distress throughout the bottom. And I bought these ones at Target, and they are the brand Wild Fable. All right, next we have the outfit that I would be wearing when I'm going to the actual store. So I really want to wear this super cute skirt. I have not worn it before. It still has its tag on here. And this is kind of a mid, it's not like a full maxi skirt, but it's kind of that mid length. It kind of hits me at the middle of my calf. And it has this really pretty pleat throughout the skirt, except for at the bottom, it kind of fades out and it's just kind of plain at the bottom and I really like that effect. It does zipper on the side and I'm thinking about either pairing it with a Harry Potter tee or I will just wear it with this cute little rust color crop top that I got at Target and then I would be pairing it with this really pretty button down jacket. It has this like really nice fleece material on the outside and then the inside is kind of more of like that down material. So it'll definitely keep me warm since it's going to be a little bit more chilly out. This will be really nice to have. And I think that these colors just pair really well together. If you can see how it has those pops of rust in the jacket and then I'd wear that with the shirt and then it's got that cream taupe color in the skirt. So I think that this outfit would be really cute, but I would really want to make it magical. So I was thinking about wearing my Butterbeer shirt with it. And I think this would be really cute because they have that little butterbeer section in the shop that I'm really looking forward to checking out. And I think these colors look really good as well. So let me know what you guys think. I'm still not set on what exactly I'm going to be wearing. So you'll just have to stay tuned for when I upload that video and you'll see what I finally decided on. And if it's just really too cold to wear that skirt, I'm thinking about bringing another pair of jeans and then I will be wearing this t-shirt that says must be a Weasley and I think that this is super cute. I got this at a small boutique store that I saw on Instagram and it's called the Common Room Shop. So if you haven't checked them out, I'll link her down below as well. She is super sweet and she's got some really cute designs and, and she's got some other boutique items that are around the Harry Potter theme. So it's a really cute shop. So definitely check her out. So that is another option that I'm going to be bringing with me. I also have these pair of shorts that I was going to wear if I didn't wear the skirt, but it doesn't look like it's going to be shorts weather in New York. So I might sneak these into my suitcase anyways, but I don't think I'll be wearing them, but they are very cute. They are from Forever 21. This is what they look like from the front and this is what they look like in the back. I just love the pocket area. I think that's so cute and they're in a nice taupe color and they're a jean material, which is really nice. So I really love these and these are new. I haven't taken the tag off yet. So hopefully I can wear them there. If not, I'll definitely make use of them here. I'm also bringing another t-shirt. So this is anything off the trolley. So if I don't end up wearing this shirt with one of my outfits that I am bringing, I'll probably wear this on the flight back home or I could wear it to sleep in as a pajama shirt. So I just want to bring another extra backup just in case. As for some pajamas, I have this cute Gryffindor tank top that goes with these really cute Gryffindor pajama shorts. So I have these to wear. We'll only be there two nights, so I have another pair of pajamas. I just have these cute little like lounge tie-dye shorts that I'll be wearing with this Warlock Convention t-shirt that I got out of a recent subscription box, the Wizard's Trunk box. So I have that to wear with these cute lounge shorts so I can sleep in those or just hang in the hotel with those as well, either way. And then next I have two pair of shoes that I'm going to be bringing with me. They're both gym shoes 
you might recognize these ones. I just got these in my recent Amazon Prime wardrobe shopping haul. So if you've seen that video, I did end up purchasing these. So I'm gonna be wearing them for my first time in New York. I might regret that because I haven't broken them in yet, but I haven't really had a reason to wear them. So yeah, they're super clean, but they are so cute. So I'll definitely be pairing those with a lot of the outfits that I just showed you. As a backup, I have my Nikes and these have gotten a lot of miles out of them. Ooh, they're really dirty underneath there, but I know that they're comfortable. So I did bring these because I know in New York, I will be doing a, a lot of walking. So I do want to make sure I have a pair of shoes that are going to be comfortable. And these are a taupe color, so they'll go with a lot of the outfits that I'm going to be bringing. Of course, I have some socks packed up. I got these cute Harry Potter snitch socks, so I will be bringing a couple pairs of socks as well. And I also have my toiletry bag, so I will be keeping all of my like toothpaste, toothbrush, um, face wash, things like that in this bag, hair products. And what's really nice about it is it opens up like so, and you can hang it from somewhere in the hotel room and it has all these clear compartments so you can really see and access anything in there. And then next I have my camera bag. It doesn't have anything in it yet just because I'm using most of the items right now, like my camera I am using. And then I'll be packing it full of batteries and memory cards and things like that. That way I am prepared and I can get as much footage for you guys while I am there. But this is my cute little camera bag. I'll show you the inside. So it zippers like this and then here are the compartments inside. So it keeps your camera really safe. And then it's got this front pocket where I put mostly my memory cards. And then it's got these little side pockets that are really tiny. You can put like an extra battery pack in here that you want to access really quickly so you don't have to dig through the bag. And there's one on this side as well. So I have that. And of course I have to make sure that I bring all my chargers since I'm still using those right now. I don't have them packed up yet. But what I like to do is keep a little like checklist so I can put all those items that I haven't packed yet that I know I'm going to need. So that way the day of I can just go through it real quick and be like, yes, got that, got that, got that. And then slip those into my bag right before we leave. Next, I'm going to be bringing my wand. Of course, I'm gonna need my wand with me. And this is the one that I use in most of my intros to my videos. And this one I got out of a LitJoy crate and I just love it. It's so simple and I like the size of it. All right, I only have a few more items left to show you that I'm going to be bringing with me and they are some accessories. So I have, I will be bringing this necklace. So this is my little lightning bolt silver necklace with the little charm. It's a stackable necklace. I showed it in a favorites video and I will be definitely bringing that and I put them in my little spare Alex and Ani baggies to keep them all separated and nice. So I'll put that one in here. Next, I will be bringing this Alex and Ani necklace and this one is the time turner and I will be putting it in its own little baggie. So this one will go in here. And last but not least, I have these three separate necklaces that I will be wearing together. And these two right here are from Forever 21. And then this really cute lightning bolt necklace I just received recently, but I have been waiting to wear it for this trip. And I also got this one at the Common Room Shop. These three are gonna look so cute together and I cannot wait to wear these. So I'll put these in here and just hope and pray that they don't get all tangled up. So those will be going in here. So now I have all three bagged up and they are gonna be nice and safe. And I'll probably put these in my toiletry bag too. So that way they don't get lost or anything. All right, so let's go ahead and put those rest of those items into the suitcase and see how much room we have left over because I really hope I have enough room so when I want to purchase anything, I can stick those into the suitcase and that way they will make it back home. Okay, so I have everything packed up and ready to go. I ended up putting the extra necklaces in this little side pocket. I forgot I had that on here as well, so that is an option to put those in there. So I do have plenty of room to get some items and this will squish down some more. And when I do close this, there's always the option to expand and make the suitcase a little bit wider. So there is that option there as well. 
So I do think that there's going to be plenty of room to purchase many Harry Potter merchandise items while I am there. And you might have noticed there was a few things that I didn't put in there. So I didn't put in my outfit that I'm going to be wearing to the airport or the Adidas sneakers because that's going to be part of my outfit that I wear to the airport. And I also didn't pack my camera bag and I haven't packed my makeup either. I am going to have a separate backpack that I will put some of those items on. That way when I'm at the airport and I want to buy a water or anything or have any snacks, I'll put those in there so I can have those on the flight because that suitcase I will be bringing as a carry-on and then that will go above me and I won't have access to anything that's in there. So those other items will be going into a backpack as my personal item so I can have quick access to any of those. And I'm so excited that I have a plenty of room in my suitcase to bring back some Harry Potter merchandise when I go shopping at the store. So for whatever I do buy, I will film a separate video of the haul of all of the items that I purchased at the Harry Potter store in New York City. So definitely be on the lookout for that. So this video should be coming out and then the shop tour and then the haul video will be after that. All right, so that's going to wrap up today's video. My bag is packed and I am ready to go to New York City. If you have anything in particular that you would like me to film, please let me know in the comments below so I can make sure I capture that for you guys. And as always, if you like today's video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. And you're gonna really wanna make sure you have your bell notifications on so that way you're notified during my next video upload, which is going to be my New York City shop tour. So make sure you are ready for that. And if you wanna see anything before I upload my video, I will be putting some little highlights on my story on Instagram. So if you're not following me there on Instagram, make sure to do so, so you can see what I am up to in New York. I will definitely be posting a lot on my story and I'll probably post a couple grid posts as well. So be on the lookout for those. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>